Hello friends, it's Miss Bloom back to read another book related to a special day that's coming up next week called Earth Day. We've been learning about things that we can do to help our Earth. We've talked a lot about recycling and um, I also read a book about saving energy and today we're going to talk about water. This book is called Watch Over Our Water. And our author is a girl, Lisa Bullard, wrote the words. The illustrator is Zhao Xing, who's a boy who <clears throat> uh, did the pictures. And the publisher who made the whole book happen is Mill Book Press. All righty, and here's our title page. And believe it or not, this is a kind of chapter book. It's a picture book that's divided into three chapters. So this is the table of content showing us the chapters. And let's get started. Chapter one is called More Important Than Root Beer. Hi, I'm Trina. I'm working to be an earth saver. So today, I made an earth map. Do you see her earth map here on a big piece of paper? The earth has so much water, I almost ran out of blue marker. I guess I'd better think about water if I'm going to save the earth. Wow, do you see this picture? Everything that's blue is water and everything that is brown or tan is earth. And I see North America, and we live in Washington, D.C., which is right about there. This is South America, Africa, Europe and Asia, and Australia. Dad agrees that water is really important. He says that more than half of a human body is made of water. Do you think that means we have fish swimming around inside? <laughs> so you might not have known it, but our body has lots and lots of water in it. Our blood that flows in our arteries and veins has lots of water in it. I don't think we have fish floating around in our tummies though. Plants, animals, and people need water to live. And people use water for more than just drinking. We use it to grow food. We use it to get clean. And if you think about it, water is even more important than root beer. <laughs> so here you can see her little puppy dog is drinking water. Here she's watering her tomato plant. Here she's giving her dog a bath and we all use water to get clean. And she's saying, wow, water might even be more important than one of our favorite drinks, which is root beer. Now we're ready for chapter two. Stop water waste. Almost all of the Earth's water is salty ocean water. Yuck, drinking too much of that will make us sick. The earth doesn't really have a lot of drinkable water, so we can't waste it. So when you see this picture of the earth, you'll see all this ocean water here, here and over here. That's all salty ocean water that we cannot drink. But then you'll see some little flags on the land where there are lakes and rivers and streams. That is water that we can drink. This says some of the water we drink comes from underground. Other drinking water comes from lakes, streams, and rivers. This water is not salty like the ocean water. <laughs> She's looking at the earth from her little space plane and her space bubble and look she's got some binoculars <laughs> and her dog is also along for the ride. Her space mobile almost looks like a fish, doesn't it? 
My teacher says even kids can conserve water. Conserve means to not waste it. She says taking a fast shower uses less water than taking a bath. Now baths are a lot of fun. So Miss Bloom's not saying don't take a bath, but sometimes when you have other things to do and you want to be quick, you can say, you know what? I'll just take a fast shower and get squeaky clean instead of a bath tonight. I have a better idea. I'll just stay dirty. <laughs> and here she is in the dirty clothes hamper. Look at her mom's face though. Does she think that's a good idea? I don't think so. In this blue bubble, it says there are lots of ways to conserve water. Turn off the water while you brush your teeth. Keep drinking water in the refrigerator. Then you don't have to run the faucet until it's cold. <clears throat> Do you wait until the shower water is hot before getting in? Some people catch that water in a pail while you wait and use it to water plants or wash the dog. So there are ways we can save water. Some people even have rain barrels outside to catch the rainwater and use that to water their plants. Lots of waste of water goes down the toilet. So my family has a special rule when we're at home. We say, if it's pee, let it be. Don't think of it as gross. It's saving Earth's water, one less flush at a time. Now your family may or may not like to do that, but it's just an idea. This blue circle says, people have gotten smarter about how to make toilets. The new ones use lots less water than old toilets. Maybe your family could save money for a new toilet. There are other ways to use less water in your toilet too. Ask a grown-up to look online for some ideas. And now we're ready for chapter three. Keep water clean. My dog Daisy creates another problem. Her toilet is outside. I don't want her dog do washing into the water underground. So I clean up after Daisy. Saving the earth can be a smelly job. <laughs> so she picks up her dogs do with a special bag. And this blue circle says you can buy special trash bags for pet cleanup. They break down more quickly than other bags, which means they're better for the earth. We buy those kinds of bags for our dog, Nettie, who's asleep right over near me. Should I show you her? Let's see, can you see her there? She is asleep on the floor. <laughs> I know you see Miss Cushman's dog, Olive, sometimes in her art lessons. Litter often gets washed into lakes and rivers. This also makes the water dirty. Make sure you put your trash where it belongs. Otherwise, I might end up drinking it. And we'll read more about that in another book we're gonna read called I Can Save the Ocean. So we wanna make sure trash goes in the trash can. Maybe you could help me conserve water and keep it clean then I can find another way to save the earth tomorrow. <laughs> and she has a sign here called Water Saver. And look at her friends. There's an elephant and an alligator and a bunny rabbit. And she's pointing to the earth and all of earth's water. And that, my friends, is the end. So thank you for learning about how important fresh water is and ways that maybe you can help save water by turning off the faucet when you brush your teeth or putting water in the refrigerator so it's cold when you're ready to drink or sometimes taking a shower instead of a really big bath. These are all things you can do every day to help our earth. We'll see you soon. Bye.